Hello Fight Simulator 2020 fans. Um, I noticed there was a lot of talk on the forums about feathering the prop on the um, Cessna 208 Grand Caravan. Well, it can be done and here's how I do it. Um, wouldn't be easy to do in flight, but once you're on the ground, if you want to feather your prop before you, you shut it down, here's what you would do. So it's now in normal prop setting. Move down to your uh, throttle, um, whatever they call that, all your, your throttles and all that stuff. And uh, basically, um, I always set my throttle to low idle here, zero, when I'm finished. And so when you're, well, let's run the engine. What the hell? here to do this. Okay, as it comes up, I'm doing this by ear, so don't jump on me. Turn on the fuel. Put me out there, whoops. Okay. Here we go, pops running. our throttle section. Well, it looks like the throttle's in reverse, but it's not. It doesn't show reverse, unfortunately. Although, what I've done is I... That's another topic, but what I've done is I've set up throttle reverse when I... on my... Um, throttle quadrant or whatever the hell it was called I uh, have the throttle set up so if I take it down to the bottom momentarily like uh, click click it throws it into uh, it throws it into reverse and uh, let me show you since I'm talking about it don't think you'll see much but it's in auto reverse now I think notice there's a different sound. That's because it's in reverse. So I bring throttle back to zero. Let the power, let the rep, let the revs come back. And then all the way down and back up. Okay. Now. Oops, it didn't switch. This gomer wants. This is the airport I learned to fly in, and I can tell you right now, they don't have ground crew. You got to do everything yourself, and they sure don't have air marshals. put the, uh, the prop. There we go. Okay, there we are in forward. Better slow down. In the throttle quadrant, um, you'll notice if you have the uh, Logitech throttle quadrant or the uh, I forget the name of the other one uh, you can push the throttle down and it, it just sort of clicks into position so if you push it down one more time like really click one done one two it puts it into reverse so now you should hear a difference yeah hear that
that's because it's in reverse. You can actually back one of these things up here. Let me show you. Breaks off. Okay, toggle with your reverse thrust. to go into reverse thrust. There's no real indication, so I'll just give it a little bit. If it's ready now. Curious to see what would happen if I threw it into reverse thrust while I was in the air. <laughs> I don't think it would be good. Okay, so now we're in forward thrust, I think. Back to the topic at hand, feathering the prop. Let's go inside so we can see what's going on. Okay, I bring the um, pitch all the way back to zero. You won't see much on the propeller. Okay, the reason I do that is so when I go down here, propeller pitch here in blue. Notice here it says feather. Now it's in feather. The reason you see it slowing down like that is because it's harder for the engine to turn it. So let's give the engine a break and shut it off. forgot to set to shut off the starter. There we go. See the pitch? Okay, let's go back down to the, the um, propeller pitch. Bring it up here. Oh, you didn't catch it, sorry. Go feathered. So I don't forget. It unfeathers much faster than it feathers. Okay, so there you go. It is possible to uh, feather the prop on the um, Flight Simulator 2020. 
I have not found a way yet to assign it to, uh, I was trying to assign it to the pitch so that I could toggle it. And if you go into the um, control options, go to all settings, go to power management. Here's where I set the, um, uh, option to propeller on the, it, I tried to set it up on, set up, um, auto, re, uh, not auto reverse, but reverse thrust on the, uh, pitch, which I, I would think would be logical, but it doesn't work. You have to do it on the throttle. Even though it does have a somewhere. Oh, it's gone. We just had an update. Good, they fixed that. All right. So you can't do it with the, the um, propeller pitch, but you can do it with the throttle. Toggle, throttle, reverse thrust, Z, which is when you, um, here, let me clear it for you. Okay. Scanning the thing. If you take a, the uh, throttle control, push it down and back up, it takes Z. So that's how you get it to go into uh, reverse thrust. And I was hoping that we could do the same thing with the, um, pitch well they have updated maybe they've uh, done something now toggle propeller reverse thrust does not work if you use the propeller it has to be done in the um, has to be done with the throttle as opposed to the pitch There used to be a section for feathering. Like last week I was playing with it. Oh, there it is. Toggle auto feather arming. I'm not really sure what that does. Toggle feather switches. One of these might do the job. So let's find out. So I'm going to toggle the, the, the um, pitch lever. But first I have to start scanning. There we go. Okay, go back into our simulator. Now, I'm not sure where the propeller has to actually be running. So, let's start her up and find out. Did I set the brake? I can't remember. Get out of the way. No, I didn't. <laughs> Good thing. Okay. Back to business. All right. I've set up um, feather on the pitch. So it doesn't seem to do anything. But let's find out. Nope. Doesn't do a thing. All right. So much for that one. Let's try the other one. Save it. Hmm. Let's try putting it there. Click on the hourglass so it starts scanning for an input. Oh, I know. I forgot to validate it. That's why. Okay. So it's set up here, validate, and apply and save. Go back, resume, see what happens. Absolutely nothing.
So this toggle doesn't seem to do much. Oh, wait a minute. Let's try that again. No, I was gonna, I thought maybe, but it doesn't. Anyways, far as I can tell, the only way that you can set up the uh, feather option is to manually bring this back down to feather. So the, the option to do that is built in. See it feathering here? Okay, for four, I forget. Because I'm not sure what that actually does do. Let's go to... find out if that happens every time. Okay, that's our prop in... Um, there you go. Let's see if we can get a better look here. Do that in the air by the looks of it. Okay. As you can see, the props are feathered. The propeller is feathered. So let's find out. I'll go out and come back in. Yeah, you see, when you go out and come back in, it unfeathers or defeathers or whatever it's called. I am not an expert in uh, variable pitch props. I always I always flew f uh, little aircraft like uh, 150s, 172s, PA 28, and the uh, and the um, air coupe, which is the one I flew the most, and it had a cruise prop, which I would not recommend if if you're th if you have a fixed uh, prop plane and you're thinking of putting a cruise prop on it. If you don't mind changing the prop for the season because in the hot weather a cruise prop is not a good idea so in the summer when it's hot and the runway short you don't want a cruise prop you want a climb prop but that's just an aside I can start up bye from light from Dave's life over 65